Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about proof that the Spinosaurus was not a hybrid in Jurassic Park 3. I'm here with two special guests on, on YouTube. I'm here with Aunt Ellis and BK Go Crazy. Say hi, guys. Hello. What's up? So, do you guys want to start off by telling your opinions on this, and I'll go next, since you guys are the guests here? I mean, I like, I, I like to go first this time. Yeah, I think, yeah, let's, you can go first, Anthony will go second, then I'll go last. A lot of people try to claim that this dinosaur is a hybrid for one reason and one reason only. Not because it's standing up on two legs, or it's not scientifically accurate. It's all because of that website where they claim that Dr. Wu said that the Spinosaurus was a mistake left on Sorna. That's the only thing that they're going off of. And that fact, that actually fooled me at one point too. And made me think that that was you know made me think that that was actually a hybrid yeah i mean like yeah that is true and i do feel like they people say it's a hybrid due to you know it, 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 because it, you know apparently it's a hybrid because it survived a, a plane hitting it which makes no sense because if you look at the spinosaurus in real life it's it's a whole lot bigger than the one we see in jurassic park 3 and the people also say that our spinosaurus in real life couldn't break a t-rex's neck honestly it could if you compare an 18 meter carnivore 12, 12 meter carnivore with long powerful arms it's gonna snap a little dinosaur's neck with ease like i don't understand why people are are saying this stuff it's not true because like the spinosaurus in real life was 60 feet the one we see in jp3 was like what 45 40 feet it was way smaller man exactly and just because dr Ruth said he left a mistake on isla sorna doesn't mean it's a hybrid he just you know maybe he regretted making that dinosaur because of how deadly it was you know I mean, that's my prediction of why he said that. And then people say in real life that the, the, the Spinosaurus walked on four legs and it was only 45 feet long. Dude, people are mistaking that dinosaur with a dinosaur called the Oxalia. Like, that's the one that was like that, not the Spinosaurus. Yeah, and if you look at the size chart I have right here in this picture now, like, if you would see, it's the real life Spino was 18 meters. The one in Jurassic Park 3 was 13 meters. Like, there's a big size difference between both of them. So, I think the Spinosaurus, if, if the Spinosaurus was fully grown in Jurassic Park 3, that plane would have been demolished within 30 seconds, and the humans probably would have been dead, to be honest. Exactly. Right. All right, Anthony, do you want to say anything now? Yeah, uh... I was gonna say another reason I heard uh, people claim that it was a hybrid because it also crashed through a fence after yeah. getting hit by a plane and fighting the Rex. I know that made no sense either when people say that. And they were saying that um, when Allen and his gang went into a building to lock the gate after they escaped it. People was saying if it crashed through that metal fence, why well, didn't you know break the metal doors down? I do agree with that. I, I do feel that Spinosaurus should have been able to break that metal door down because it broke the fence. I do agree with that. Honestly, I feel like that was just another movie mistake made by Jurassic Park Three. Feel you on that. That that's for sure. Because like, how could it break through a fence but not break through like a a metal door? That didn't make sense. Right. And also, what didn't make sense is how did the people not hear the Spinosaurus coming? Like even with Rexy, like you, like how, like remember that scene when Rexy killed the rappers in the car? You would, you would have heard that coming from a long time with the, how big they are. That, like you would hear the stomping noises. Exactly. Yeah, that that's just a major movie mistakes in both of them. And I've heard that it was more than one spinal because I think um, there was one that was gray in color, and the other that was like a reddish brown. With blue stripes on it. I do feel this, the, the, the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3, that's the only one we saw in that movie, but I do feel there there probably was maybe more than one Spinosaurus on Sorna due to there being more than one T-Rex. I'm sure there's more. Right. There's probably at least two or three Spinos on Sorna. BK, what do you think about that? Do you think there's more than one Spino on Sorna, or that was the only one? I feel like that was the only one. If there was multiple Spinos, it kind of would have it kind of would ruin it for me. Because I feel like that that dinosaur itself, it is unique. It has its own flow, vibe to it. It's unique, and I like that. I feel you on that. That's for sure. Because, you know, 
that Spinosaurus was cool, but like since they have the DNA, there might be more than one, but we don't know for sure. That that was never confirmed. But you know what else is annoying? Like people say the Spinosaurus in Jurassic World was the one from JP3. No, it wasn't. Like look at the crescent on that one. Yeah, no, the, the crest is definitely different. It's not the same at all. It's not... People make a lot of mistakes. People, you see that people make mistakes or people try to make excuses. Exactly. I mean, the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3, it was very accurate to the real life Spinosaurus. The only part it was not accurate is size and it had the wrong crescent on its head. If it had the proper crescent and they made it, at the end that they made it, you know, 18 meters long, it would have been insane. It would have been, it would have been perfectly accurate to the real life Spinosaurus. Those are the those are the only two mistakes, but that doesn't mean it's a hybrid. It was a juvenile. That was part of the mistake for the size, and and I guess maybe they didn't know what the Spinosaurus's crest did look like back in two thousand and one. Yeah, see, nah, I see what you mean. Cause like, if that's the case, if every if everybody and a grandma over here claiming that the T Rex from Jurassic Park three is a juvenile, then we can make the same claim, cause <laughs> it wasn't as big. Yeah, exactly. People say this that the only reason why the, the, the Spinosaurus won is because the T-Rex was a juvenile. The Spinosaurus was a juvenile too. We can say the same thing right back at T-Rex fans because it was. Exactly. So that's no, that's not an excuse. If it was fully, if they were both fully grown. That wouldn't that wouldn't make the fight any different, to be honest. Yeah, it's like um, comparing the um, tiger and the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear will always be bigger. Exactly. exactly. Even when they're cubs. Yeah, that's pure facts right there, man. Or it's like comparing a crocodile to an alligator. The al the crocodile is getting bigger no matter what when the juveniles and adults. Right. So like, well, exactly. people people are making no sense. Like no one no one is showing any physical proof that the Spinosaurus is a hybrid. So until someone can show me physical proof that the Spinosaurus in real life was some weak dinosaur that was only 45, 50 feet in length and I walked on four legs, I'm not buying it until I get physical proof. I don't care what anyone says. It could be someone famous like Clayton, I, or it could be someone, you know, famous like just anyone. I'm not buying it until someone shows me physical proof. Don't you guys agree? I agree. Yeah, like if, if, if a Spinosaurus was like this, sure, I, I can take the truth. Show me the truth first before I before I can, you know, say it, right? Right. And no one's ever so much showed me the truth because people are just fanboys of, you know, T-Rex, right? Right. right. Exactly. Anyways, do you guys do you guys have anything else we should say? But any any proof? I think we pretty much covered like either, either everything or pretty close to everything. Is there anything yeah, you missed? Much. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are T Rex fans or whoever watched this is not a Spino fan, I hope you just need to realize it's not a hybrid because we just proved to you in every way it's not a hybrid, right, guys? Anyways, I'll put both of their channels in, this, in the, the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to both of our channels, and rate, and have a great day. Say bye, guys. Deuces. Deuces. All right. Later, y'all.